How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. This is uh, the next part of the Hemingway kit, the spherical turning tool. We are up to the building of the head, what they call the head, part number two. Part number two, which is not on here. But the head is this piece right here. It's right here. So this is the head. Show you a little zoom in there a little more. And it's a bit more, this is more of a drill, milling operation with, you know, squaring the block up, drilling some holes and slots and counter boring and things like that. Uh, this is the uh, piece here. It's a two inches by two inches by five eighths thick. Uh, they got, gave me a chunk that's two and a quarter long. So over to the mill. We'll get going. I have the uh, headpiece in the vise already. All I did was take one of the little stands, little squares, and hold it up in there tight and squared it up. We're just cleaning up the ends. Now we're going to flip it over and bring it to size of two inches. It's almost two and a quarter, so we got to hog off some off the other side. When I moved it down here to the end, I it was a little too tight still to get a mic in there, and I I don't want to raise it, put it any higher up or anything. So I moved it down to the end, and I put a little spacer block in here, five eighths. So we're at two one eighty seven. We need to take a bit off. I did two fifty thousandths cuts, and now I was at. Oh, I need to take off one hundred eighty-seven thousand, and took did two fifty thousandths cuts. Now I need to take off eighty-seven thousandths. That's uh, sweet. Two inches, one thousand. Good enough. So this is my block that I just milled, right? Just right off the mill, I deburred the edge. That, that's all I did. So this is our surface we just roughed off so we could get a squareness, uh, square block. And then this is the one I cut this edge I cut to size. So I just thought I'd just show you, you know, I was doing I did, uh, what did I do, 50 thousandths, 50 thousandths, 60 thousandths, and a 26, and that, I called it good. And I'm going to just put it on the plate here and see how we, how did we come out, right? This is a 2 inch gauge block, 2 inch. So we're going to set our gauge up uh, for, two, for a 2 inch block here. This is a tense indicator. Alright, so we got our two-inch gauge block set here and it's on zero as you can see. I'm gonna bring my uh, milled block in. So on this end here I'm I mean it's got a little bit of surface roughness because I was doing it kind of fast. And we're roughly half a thousandths high on that end and we're 1,000 plus a couple tenths one tenth a high on this end not too bad for just milling that is not not too bad and I have cheap parallels we'll flip it over and see what it looks like this way should be uh, high on one end, yep, this end, thou, and about a half a thou. So we got a half a thou difference uh, in two inches, and we're, uh, you know, one thou at the longest uh, over in length. We were shooting for two inches. I'm pretty happy with that, it's not too bad. 
Now I have it set up here. Now the edge I have down is the edge I set with stand square on this this edge here is what it, uh, I set it up with the edge with one of the sides and then I milled this end and I just did it with stand square so we're gonna put that side down and we're gonna see how square it is here now this is just a, a squareness comparison type thing we'll just measure one side and I have it set for zero right there on this side and now we're going to flip it around and measure the other side so at two inches we are six tenths six tenths off and just, just setting it anywhere to the square that's how good stand squares are I'm going to attribute to the squares I'm not going to attribute to my machine of course but <laughs> let's just attribute to the stand squares they are worth every penny uh, they're they're beautiful tools, and that's just how well they work. We'll, let's flip it over now. We'll now we'll do the other side, a squareness test. Let's see here. I might have to reset this, but we'll just do it comparison wise. So that's uh, six tenths there, and oh well, we're six tenths zero on this side. So we're showing the same six tenths. Uh, out of squareness with these sides and I I, uh, I checked the parallelness of these two sides before I milled them and they were pretty darn good we'll just check them again here Oh, about one tenth off, maybe. Not not much. Zero to one tenth, uh, and that's just probably surface roughness. So, not too bad for a parallel, uh, just parallel stock. So this square, this block is not too bad. Half a thousand out in squareness. Let's go uh, do some more work on it. I did a little layout on there, but we're gonna put a quarter inch hole and then and uh, ream it and countersink it here. Now I'm just going to follow, try to follow the instructions. Uh, use a little spotting drill here. Now we're going to Put a half inch counterbore with a half inch end mill, a uh, quarter of an inch deep. Now we're going to ream that. Now they want a quarter inch hole and reamed in the center. So that's one inch over, one inch over. And uh, I already had the absolute set up on my vise, the back jaw and my end stop. So I'm just using the DRO to position this stuff. Well, we're done with this this piece for now. There's quite a bit more that needs to be done to it. There's a holes that will be drilled and tapped. This has to be a half round. But the instruction, I'm just going to follow, try to follow the instructions. They don't call for that yet. Blew the chips out, but this all came out really nice. So I'll debar that on to the next phase.